Hello, this is Carolyn from Carolyn's Paper Therapy. Tonight I wanted to do a flip through of my uh, journal that I just completed called Garden Market made with a digital kit from My Porch Prints. Primarily, there's a few other things that I've used in here just from uh, various other um, ephemera that I've saved and stickers and such. But um, I did a tutorial on these in seven parts. You may have watched that. Um, and I've added a few little things to it uh, from what we did in the tutorials. But this video will be primarily for, um, for you and also for those who may not have watched the tutorial and just want to see um, the journal. I had originally thought that I would put this portfolio here, I made from a file folder, into the center of the uh, journal, but uh, to me it made it too fat, so I took it out and bound the journal without it. So I have two separate things here that I'll go through tonight. I have my little, my little doggy um, biscuit here at my feet. He's a standard poodle, and I've discovered today that's also called a spoo, which is kind of cute. But um, we had quite a, a challenging day yesterday, but today was much better. I've just had him less than a week and um, struggling with potty training and uh, separation anxiety and different things, but uh, I'm gonna get him some training, and so we're gonna be good buddies, I think. So here we go with the journal. Um, what this consists of is um, four pages folded in half. And this one right here is made from a large um, junk mail envelope with a window that I receive my bank uh, reports and things in. And it's a large envelope the size of this booklet here folded in half. Uh, I printed this on both sides uh, with the decorative um, on one side and the, the green stripe on the inside, which I really love that look. So we'll start through here. And uh, uh, on the cover here, I have used uh, a sticker or, or uh, words that say the earth laughs with flowers. Uh, that's from a, a Tim Holtz uh, package of paper that uh, I got and I just saved out the things that I didn't use. I have added on here, uh, this is a garden cart here with flowers and so I added a butterfly <clears throat> and also some uh, floral stickers and I tied them uh, as if it were a bouquet that someone had selected. After I bound the book, I decided that it uh, would be good to reinforce it, and I used this uh, purple or lavender fabric that I had, and I just uh, figured out the width that I needed and cut it and ripped it um, on each side here. I glued it down, and then I glued this lace uh, on both sides. Uh, this lace is available from Amazon, and I just decided that I needed some white lace that was real delicate to use in some of these journals. So that's the cover. The inside front cover consists of three pockets, and these were uh, came in the kit this way uh, for three different sizes of pockets on a page. So that's what I did with them. Um, in the back pocket, I have this journal card. I added the big butterfly, and all of these journal cards and tags can be written on the back. So there's room for journaling uh, here and also on the back of these journal cards. This is in the second pocket. The artwork in this kit is just beautiful. This is in the front pocket. A little different shape from what you would normally see on the journal card. And then on the bottom, um, this first pocket, 
I decided to cut a piece off of one of the decorative sheets like this and glue it on there just to uh, add some a decorative effect here on this front pocket. And I added some yellow flowers that tie in with these and these and another butterfly sticker. This page I left it as is, uh, except I did use a, a, a words out of, um, I have a box full of words from various kits and left over from um, projects. And these I believe are from uh, G. Kerr Happiness and Crafting. It says love, ev love every day. And there's a, I like the way that it's already layered for me. So they, you just have to cut them out and then uh, they're already layered. The next page, uh, I made a side pocket out of this lacy paper that was included in the kit. And I put some of that same lace on it. Uh, this is another journal card. Plus you can journal in here. And this uh, just uh, came in the kit as a, um, a little booklet that you would just cut out and then fold it over. So that's what I did with it. And then on the inside, I used the book pages out of an antique um, uh, flower kind of a uh, reference book with lots of pen and ink pictures so that all the the book pages in here are actually from a gardening book, which I thought was fun. I use this paper uh, with the lines this way for journaling and the words say flowers and pick me. This is a part of this uh, that I cut off the length of and I use it as a top pocket. So this has a journaling card that can be written in. And I just use this pretty ribbon that I love. Um, this is a seam binding that's hand dyed and comes in some really great colors and I order it from a, um, a shop on Etsy. In fact, I've reordered and have a, a lot of it again. So this just tucks right in here. The doggies down here at my feet. Lay down. Lay down. Okay. Now this is the um, the the junk mail envelope with the window, and I I uh, have uh, turned down the corner to make a pocket here. I lined the inside with our pretty paper, and this uh, out here and then flipped it over and also used the same design on the uh, outside of the pocket. Uh, I tucked a, a little journal card in here and glued it that with the cloche with the plants in it. This is a sticker a flower. This is also, this is uh, one of ripped piece of my book page and the word journal just kind of layered on that pocket. And inside the pocket, um, I made this tag from one of our papers with that pretty ribbon at the top. It comes in so many nice colors. And, um, and then this one, I put the, punched the hole on the right hand edge so it would fit down in here and the bow would still show. This is the inside of that uh, envelope. And uh, the kit came with this, this envelope that could be cut out and put together. And so I glued it down on the page. I covered the page first with this green print here, pastel. And then I glued this down and it has a journal card inside. This bicycle, I had a, a, a bicycle that I wanted to fix up like this. In fact, I did. I had a basket on the back and the front, and 
I have a little shop around the corner that I was gonna ride it back and forth from my house, but uh, I wasn't steady enough to ride it, so I didn't get to keep that bicycle. I didn't wanna hurt myself. This here is just punched out with a, a round a hole puncher and I uh, glued the bottom part of it down so that this tip could be put in there to hold the envelope closed. This is another piece that I cut off of one of these decorative pages that I printed out at the top and then I put a flower sticker on it. This page I left pretty much as is. It, it's printed uh, with this design on it. And I got this uh, um, out of, it's another kit of words that uh, I'm not sure where I got it, but I really love it. Uh, they all look like they're ripped and um, uh, different designs. And so I glued that up there. This is some uh, coffee dyed, um, uh, whatever it's called. And then this is another one of the stickers out of this same kit. This is the center of the book, and you can see where it is sewn together and then tied with a bow. Uh, you take your needle and poke it through the middle and then all the way to the outside, come up this side, down through here, back up through the middle and tie it. Uh, there's various videos that show how to do that. On this page, I cut uh, one of the decorative pages like this. I cut the design around the design so that I could make a pocket out of it. I trimmed it in our lace, added a butterfly on the flowers, and then this is a pocket then that holds these items. Um, this uh, is in, uh, included in the kit is a this wide tag and then two pockets that go on it. One is straight across and one goes at an angle and they're all color coordinated. And so um, I put that together and then I selected my tags to go in the pockets and tied them with some ribbon or whatever and um, put them in there. And then this back here, this is a sticker, flower sticker, butterfly sticker to decorate this front pocket. Um, I have some lace that I put across here, my little pearls and you are awesome. And then this is a tag that can be written on, plus the little tags can be written on. And I just tuck that down in there. Uh, the kit came with four different sets of these, and I've used, um, between this and the portfolio, I think I used all four of them. This is just another tag that I added some pink flowers on. Get it back in there so everything shows. There we go. On this side, uh, these little pockets were um, came in the kit and they fold over so that there's room to put um, your tags or, or several things inside there. I have just put tags uh, with tabs on them. This one I just made myself out of one of the pages. Uh, this tag came as a tag, and I just put a tab on it to pull it out with. And then the page looked a little blank, so I used uh, some washi tape. My little doggy's in the trash can, so let him have some fun. This is one of the printed pages with designs, and I just added a little piece of my book page and some flowers here and lace across the bottom. This is the other side of the uh, junk mail envelope, the big envelope, 
and I had cut it to size so it was open all the way down. So what I did was I glued the top and the bottom and made a side pocket for these two big tags. And on this page, I covered the background um, with some, the really faint butterfly paper. That's so beautiful. And um, this at the top here was off of a greeting card I got a long time ago. I save all my greeting cards and different little phrases and stuff out of them. It says, each day a new beginning, each year a more beautiful you. I thought that just fit fine in our, in our um, journal here. And so in the pocket, which is a, a pocket that came in the kit, cut at this angle, I have put these journal cards. I trimmed this one with some crocheted lace at the top. This one I, I just tied um, my recycled silk ribbon on it. And this one, I used the word charming and a little piece of my book page. I wanted to decorate the, uh, the front pocket, so I used a piece from the book that has a section on watering of flowers. I made this into a pocket here with another tiny tag that I made um, that just says bouquet on it. These words were all in the kit. This is play in the dirt. These flowers here I cut out with my Cricut machine. Uh, you could also do it if you had a die and, uh, and uh, use your die cut machine. So when I glued the top and bottom together, I made the side pocket and I used my round, one inch round hole punch to cut a notch here so you would see the tag sticking out. <coughs> These are just some large tags. This, this is a large tag from the kit and I just punched uh, or I glued this on the corner. So that the ribbons and all kind of stick out from the edge. Those just go right in the side. This one I made out of one of the pages. Uh, just cut it uh, into a journal card. Put a tab of this same lace and tucked it in there also. Oh, the dog is eating some paper. I guess that's okay. On the back side of this uh, envelope that I used, I made a belly band with this green uh, lace section that was meant to be folded in half on the edge of the page and side pockets, but I used it to make a belly band. And then I decorated the belly band with a pocket that has a tag in it It says summer. and uh, I, I put a butterfly sticker on there. This is a part of my book, my garden book pages. It says Complete Book of the Garden, and these are purple stickers. I picked up the purple here. And in the belly band, I tucked this envelope, which has another little booklet in it that can be written in. This just tucks in here. Just a minute, I gotta get my doggie. You've gone crazy. No. No. Go lay down. Go lay down. That's a good dog. Sorry about that. Life goes on no matter what you're doing. <laughs> um Okay, this page, I did an angle pocket, which came in the kit. I decorated it with some of those words, layered words from uh, G. Kerr's uh, kit, uh, words and phrases, I think it's called. And I used a little piece of that purple, this purple fabric that was left when I ripped that for the front edge. 
and made a little ruffle out of it to bring out the purple on here. And inside the pocket, I have this, I made this large tag and I actually had to cut some of my truck off to get it to fit, but it gives a lot of good writing space. Uh, this is two little booklet type pages put together that can be written on. And I just tied them with the ribbon. I glued the ribbon in the back so it would stay with the little booklet. That can be tied back. I can envision a book like this being used for um, just your fa favorite flowers, uh, different little notes about flowers you've planted, or friendship letters, um, sayings, anything you would want to collect in a garden type book. Here's the other little tag that I put in here. This page, I uh, left it as is as it printed out, and I just added the word laughter here, which kind of looks like a uh, those wooden boards that you see in front of people's homes with welcome or whatever on them. That's what it looked like to me. This is another one of those wide um, tags that has the two pockets. And um, I decorated this one by, I just glued it down on the page and uh, tied this seam binding ribbon at the top. I added some music and a butterfly. And on the front pocket, I used this uh, lace. I had was looking for this real delicate lace and um, what I did was order a um, table runner um, off of Amazon that is very large and so I can cut any size lace I want to and use it uh, in my journals and I won't have to buy any more for a long time because it's a large piece and I'm sure turned out a lot cheaper than it would have been if I would tried to buy a roll of the lace. This little oval, I went searching for ovals um, in Etsy shops, digital kits, and they, I found one with cats and one with garden uh, things and one with bird houses. And this is a pretty white cat. My daughter, in fact, had a cat that looked just like that. Um, I pulled this little saying out of my box. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Do you plant a garden? is to believe in tomorrow. <coughs> <coughs> and I put some bling on there. These are just some freebie tags I had. <coughs> Here's the back cover. And all I've done is wrap that uh, around to the back and that reinforces the edge. This is another one of G-Curse label. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I spent the day yesterday walking my dog outside and it was freezing cold with the wind blowing. I've developed a cough. And I always sign my journals. This says Garden Market Journal Made with Love, Carolyn, because I give them as gifts. I need to get busy doing that, too. I've got quite a collection. So there's our garden market journal, all finished, ready to go. And then I will share with you the portfolio right quick. This is made from a file folder. Again, if you want to go back and see exactly how I put all this together, there are seven videos, seven steps, where I did... Uh, a few pages at a time and went through in detail how I put this together that you can go back and see on my YouTube channel. This is made from a file folder and part of it is folded up 
and makes pockets inside. Part of it is folded out and makes pockets on the outside. This is the center of the file folder and that way it folds together as a portfolio. So on the front, I have, um, I cut, I've inked everything around and then I covered the front with a, uh, with the paper from the kit, background paper. And then this here is one of the wide tags um, that has the two pockets. And so um, I just decorated it with um, a rose sticker and the word roses. I tied this at the top of the tag I decorated the bottom with the butterfly, the word wishes, a little tiny piece of pink ribbon, and some bling. This is the same ribbon as that. I save all my little pieces of the ribbon. And then inside the pocket, back pocket, I put this tag. It has a garden book. And in the front pocket, um, this I, I got a little a machine to do embossing and uh, this was just a practice sheet but it makes a nice little card to stick in our uh, journal and then this tag and this is glued down on three sides so that there's room for another pocket at the top so that's what this is a tag at the top and I decorated it with this beautiful silk ribbon that I get off of uh, from an Etsy shop and uh, she has a lot of different colors and it's kind of variegated. I just think it's beautiful. And then I used a pear clip on here. I uh, put a piece of lace, um, a little uh, phrases that says, all the flowers of tomorrow are in the seeds of today. And then a, um, a leaf charm and a key and a heart that hang down in the front here. So this opens up this way, and these are the, it opens all the way up, so we'll cover these two next. Um, this side, I covered this um, back here with a, a cardstock from the kit, and this folded up, and I glued it down on each side to make a pocket. I covered the pocket and then I added this um, this pocket that goes to the side. Uh, inside it is a tag from the kit. This is one of the little tickets from the kit that I glued on there and this is just a little piece of paper left over that I made a tab so this could be pulled out. This has got just little teeny pieces of lace the word market and a butterfly to decorate it. <clears throat> and this, um, this journal card here was made from a collage that I made on a six by six board or six by six car decorative card stock. And then you cover it with strips of paper this way and that way. And then I uh, had a digital kit that had the different doilies. So you end up with a 12 by 12 sheet with all this and then cut it in half and cut it in um, uh, three, four pieces across and have these tags. And then I, I just keep them like that until I'm ready to put them in a, on a project. And then I decorate them. This one has uh, the words, you deserve to be happy garden and then some of that pretty lace that I ordered the white lace from Amazon the cardstock that I used uh, to to make this had two sides so it's got pretty pretty notes and roses on the back on this side this had a pocket that folded up I put this uh, a light colored paper on the back and then I made a pocket I, I used the striped paper on the back here and then I made a, a pocket 
out of this journal card with the trailer and the flowers for sale. And I just put a little ticket down in there. Uh, this tag is was with the kit and this butterfly I ordered. Um, I think there's 30 of them or so that I ordered in a package from Amazon, white. I was into trying to find white lace things, so this is what I got. This is blank on the back and it's just glued on there. And then this tag was from a, a cereal box that I cut up into pieces. Well, I covered it with paper first, and then I cut it up into pieces and put those aside to use however I wanted to in my kits. Um, I, I have them over here, all this over here beside me. I have boxes of pre-made items that I can put in my journals as I go through. And so I just put a rose sticker on there, fresh cut. When you get these kits, you don't have to use just what's in there. You can, what I do is get, buy the kit and print it out and then cut everything out. And then I have boxes of uh, ephemera from various sources. And I go through and kind of get the boxes out that have things in there that I think will go with this. And then I can pick through them when I'm trying to do little decorative things. Okay, now this opens up this way, and I'll scoot it over a little bit and do this first. This was a, a journal card in the kit, and I left the white cardstock at the top so I could glue it this way and have a flip. So this can be written on the back. Um, I put lace on the front here and a butterfly to decorate it. This hole back and under here is plain and can be written on. I made a little pocket out of some paper I had, uh, cardstock I had left over from one of the other pages that I did. I tied my little bow and glued it on there. And then this journal card <coughs> I made from, I think it came off of this paper. Um, just ex any excess paper you have, you can just cut it and make a journal card out of it. I put a, a floral sticker on there and the word journal tucked it in. On this page, these two pockets fold up. They're part of the file folder. So on the back here, uh, the back of both of these, I used one sheet of cardstock printed out with the kind of a collage design and I cut cut it in half and then I cut it to fit and covered these back pages. This is all inked around this what you see on the edge here is the file folder. I put a butterfly up here to decorate it. I love using them to kind of bring out some more color and um, Anyway, that's put that there. And then I decorated this pocket with some more uh, paper from the kit. Um, some words that I really can't read right now because I don't have my glasses on, but some words that it's a garden phrases that I have. This is a little ticket from the kit and I trimmed it with some crocheted lace and a little piece of that silk ribbon and a button. And then this is a tag from the kit and I put this tab on there. On this side, um, like I said, I covered the background. I used my pretty thin lace and a little piece of uh, seam binding ribbon. So we have this pocket here and I put the, the backing on it, uh, decorative uh, covered the back and then I glued this card down on here. I did not, I did not make it into a pocket. I just decorated the, the pocket with it. And I added a butterfly by the watering can and the word beauty. This card is made from some of that pretty um, butterfly paper. 
and I put a ticket at the top as a pull on it. This is a um, journal card from the kit. And this is another um, tag from the kit with some little potting things there on it. <clears throat> on this side here, I covered the back, I covered the background with the uh, pastel butterflies. I used my tickets and made a belly band. And then uh, this is a little uh, envelope packet kind of thing that came in the kit. And so I put that together and I used a word that I had, it says memories, as a tab to hold this page down. So it's just glued on there at the bottom. And inside you could tuck seeds or anything you want to in here. I just put a little journal card. That, that's from another, um, some other kit that I had. So this just tucks back in under here, I think, like, like so. And then on the front here, um, I put some words from the kit that says, smell the roses. This is, both of these are die cuts, uh, little branches, little leaf branches, and then this lace doily are die cuts that I have. And when I cut out that stuff and I have extras, or maybe I'll just go cut out a whole bunch, I have all those in a, uh, a little box. My boxes are four by six plastic boxes that are made for photographs. And then there's six or eight, six of them, I think, inside a bigger box. So it, it keeps me real organized with all my little pieces left over. So I can pull those out and just, um, grab some stuff out. And then I use the little stick-on um, gold circles there to accent the corners. And then on the back, I used um, um, oh, this is a page out of the book, out of the garden book that had an iris on it and some words, and I used that on the back to cover the back of this file folder. I added some uh, garden phrases that I have, and then this is one of the wide um, tags again with the two pockets. And I've glued it down in such a way that there is a side pocket here uh, with this in it. And um, <clears throat> on this one, I, I glued or put the, um, the pretty floral stickers on there, a butterfly sticker. Uh, this is part of my table runner lace. The word always and some pearls. These pearls come in strips on a page and you just cut off what you need and they're already sticky on the back. There's a journal card or a tag in that pocket and this little round tag in that pocket. So there you go. I've worked on this for a couple of weeks and done, I did the seven uh, tutorial videos that you can see on my page if you want a step-by-step -step on how these are made. And then I wanted to do just this flip through for those who, um, we're interested in just seeing it, how it all came together. So I'm ready to move on to something new, and I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, I want to remind you that every day is a gift. Um, yesterday, I, I've, I've planted uh, some um, pansies and um, it's been very cold and windy outside, and I have this new little puppy that I have to take out and walk to do his business um, every two hours. So I'm not getting a lot of sleep, and I'm not getting a lot of 
journaling time, but uh, every day's a gift, no matter what you're doing. Uh, the puppy is a blessing. He's going to uh, grow into a, um, a standard poodle who will stand. Uh, his shoulders will probably stand um, uh, 24, 25 inches plus his head. So he's going to be pretty big. And if he were to get up on his hind legs and put his feet on my shoulders, he'd probably be as tall or taller than me. So uh, we're in for a real adventure. And uh, I'm excited that I got him. It's made me nervous. I've had some frustrations and everything, but he is so sweet. And so every day's a gift, even when you have frustrations, even if you uh, uh, have losses or uh, tragedies or illnesses, there's still blessings in every single day. And so if you can find the joy in every day, then go out and share it with others. It will lessen your own um, troubles in your mind and help you to cope better. Uh, God always gives us strength, uh, but we have to ask for it and we have to allow it in. So I hope you have had a wonderful day. It's nighttime here and um, and, and enjoyed this video and maybe we'll be inspired to make something beautiful of your own. So until next time, I'll see you soon.